Hey, what's up, guys? This is Santosh from Team Gad Mode in association with Channel 9. Geoni is one of the most consistent brands in the offline smartphone industry for several years, and this year they have launched its all new A series of smartphones, announced at Mobile World Congress. The Geoni A1 and the A1 Plus combine a large battery and a powerful selfie camera. The A1 has officially entered India, and the Geoni even has a whole selfie stun campaign around the smartphone. The smartphone costs Rs. 19,000 targets the offline market and stands against the likes of Vivo V5 and Oppo F3. The A1 comes with a metal back and a glass finish at the front. The metal casing at the back curves at the edges and the while finish is matte. It does get a bit slippery, thankfully Gioni offers a case as well as a screen protector in the box. The finish is premium and the Gioni usually takes care of its smartphone design. The speaker and the micro USB port at the bottom, the headphone jack is on the top, the right side has the volume and the power keys, which offers a good feedback and has a good metallic finish. The hybrid SIM tray sits on the left edge, which gives an option to expand the memory by using micro SD card up to 128GB. At the back you can see the rear camera, the dual LED flash and the round dimple with the Gioni logo which always feels like a fingerprint scanner. You can also see the antenna bands which are chromed up on the edges. It's a 13 megapixel rear camera with a f2.0 aperture, face detection, autofocus and a dual LED flash. Since this is a selfie focused smartphone, the front camera has 16 megapixel camera with an f2.0 aperture and a LED flash. Let's check out the details of display. It's a 5.5 inch full HD AMO LED panel which definitely is one of the strengths of the device. The AMO LED panel with the 1080p resolution produces a punchy colors, strong contrast and delivers a pleasant experience. With the pixel density of 401 ppi, everything looks crisp on it. The screen to body ratio is about 71% which is just average. Let's review the software. While smartphone manufacturers are cutting down on their UI skin features to make it closer to stock, most Chinese vendors are still offering a heavy UI on top of Android. The Gioni A1 comes with the Amigo 4.0 over Android 7.0 making it company's first handset that comes with the Nougat update. Visit the about phone section that lists the software hardware specifications of the phone. Let's touch the Android version first and then hardware specifications. You will get the detailed list RAM, ROM, screen resolution and much more on the screen. The quick toggle slide from the bottom rather than sitting in the notification shade as you would see an Apple device. Even some icons seem to be highly inspired. The UI is smooth even though it is heavily customized. It has a features like smart gesture that let you fasten up your task using gestures. There is one special feature called edge bar. This is just similar to edge screen functionality in Samsung. You can add frequently used apps or quick links to this and this feature can be accessed by swiping right or left on the fingerprint sensor or home button. It is easy to add or remove the app or link in the features as just by going the administration settings and removing the existing one and replacing with the new one. You can add up to 7 apps to the edge bar. Not more than that, it's definitely commandable Geoni trying all possible features on the phone and maintain its perfection on whatever is being delivered. Let's move on to test the fingerprint sensor of the phone. Adding fingerprint sensor is pretty simple and easy to set it up. It might not be the fastest out there in the market but doesn't lag behind in any ways. It's accurate and it does not have any issues in detecting the fingerprint in 360 degrees. It makes you to hold the finger on the sensor for 2 seconds to recognize. It's a fine until it's detecting all times when you placed on it. See the camera unit of the phone. This is one of the USP of the smartphone, specifically the front camera. 
The resolution on the front camera is 16 megapixel and there is an f2.0 aperture lens as well as a soft LED flash. At the back there is a 13 MP camera with a similar aperture, a dual LED flash, face detection, autofocus and other basic camera features. As for the rear camera you can get some decent looking pictures, focusing is really quick and shutter speeds are also good. You can get some sharp pictures with the natural looking colors. The camera app is fairly simple to use. You can have various filters to capture the photos in a different modes or color shades and different mode options like a face beauty, video, panorama, card scanner by swiping left or right on the screen. Camera settings will provide you the loads of customization options and there are various modes like time elapsed, barcode scanning, manual mode, slow motion, GIF mode, card scanning and even a translation feature where you can scan the world and translate it. We shall cover in an in-depth camera review of this phone. Do watch it, find unique features, stay tuned. To give a thumbs up to this video, share this video and subscribe to our channel for much more technology related gadget reviews and do not forget to visit the channel 9 retail outlet in Bengaluru that is there since 1986 and it has one of the widest range of smartphones, gadgets and accessories and you will be surprised with the freebies, discounts and the offers that this outlet is offering.